spending a beautiful afternoon in uh, downtown Savannah at this amazing old cemetery. I think it's the oldest in the city. Uh, the Colonial Park Cemetery. 1750s, they started burying people here. It's uh, expanded over the years to become a six acre cemetery here. A very interesting fact about the cemetery is the mass grave of nearly 700 people who died during the yellow fever epidemic. Although the sign says nearly 700, it's a common story around this area that the exact number of reported deaths was 666. That number being taboo for obvious reasons, they changed it to 700. Now to me, for sure, the most interesting part about this cemetery is something I've never seen before. And this is why I actually came here. Look at this, what is known as the back wall. These old graves are actually attached to this brick wall back here. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. That's incredible. Back in the day, this wall surrounded the entire cemetery. In fact, it had many nicknames, but one of them was the Old Brick Cemetery. And um, it just started falling apart and people stealing bricks and weather and age. So during uh, revitalization or reconstruction in 1890, most of this brick wall came down except for what is known as the back wall, which is this. So I'm looking for them right now, but some of these have dates that were changed, making people very, very old. I think yeah, you could see one right here, aged 421 years. Let's see if you can see that. And it is believed that during the Civil War, the Union Army during occupation came in and defaced a lot of these and did some damage. I don't know if that's the reason why these were put up here. Maybe the actual graves were lost. I don't know. But to be fair, there's really no proof of that. It's just a rumor or just the, how the story goes. Okay, so I just looked up why the headstones were moved and placed on the back wall. And it's because during that improvement or restoration in the 1890s, a lot of the headstones were broken or misplaced and some of them uprooted and some of them just got in the way of the new design, the pathways of this cemetery. So the headstones were removed and attached to the back wall. So there you go. They've been there since sometime in the 1890s. You can see these old metal brackets. Kind of cool to think about how old these brackets are and who put these up here and when. This one's in great condition here. Died 1803. Interestingly enough, although there is a lot of Civil War related history here. No Civil War soldiers are actually buried here because they stopped burying people here 
1853, before the Civil War. So this is all pre-Civil War here. So this is known as the Graham Vault. It's the remains of Major General Nathaniel Green. Although this one has a fence all the way around it, there is an opening here. Not sure if that was intended, but nevertheless, it's here. And looking very closely, there, there are some inscriptions, although I can't really, I can't really make out what they say. Maybe this side's a little better. 1817, died November 19th, 1817. Some of these are difficult to read. Actually, a lot of them are. Look at these old weathered bricks. That is so cool. Natural decay. This is James Johnson. He was Georgia's first newspaper publisher and printer. This one's very hard to read, but interestingly enough, he was killed during a duel. It says, James Wilde. Um, so James Wilde was killed January 16, 1815 during a duel. They were both officers of the 8th Regiment U.S. Infantry. And the nature of the quarrel is unknown. There are some somewhat famous graves, uh, some locally known, maybe throughout the state of Georgia, but I don't know these names. Some interesting ones, but it's, it's hard to, I mean, there are signs, but then it's hard to make out exactly where the graves to those signs are. This one's hard to read. Walter Smith. Looks like 1810. I, there's no way I can read about him or how he died. A lot of these, there's just not much left. Oh, here lies the fate of mortality, the eerily part of, what the heck? The eerily part of Major Charles Odensells during the Revolutionary War, a Patriot soldier. It's so hard to read this stuff. Tell you, it's not every day you see gravestones attached to an old brick wall like this. So I had to come and see this. So just a quick video just to show you what it's like if you've never been here. This is, uh, even if you have been here, this is probably interesting. Cool history here. So I'm going to keep walking around, checking out Savannah. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.